welcome back to my Friday favorites. I hope you all had a wonderful week. I surely did. It's actually really hot here this week. The leaves right now, like outside my window, there's like a forest preserve -y type thing. And all the leaves are like beautiful right now. They're like all changing colors, but it's so hot out. It's like 76 outside, which is I know it's not like LA like 98 degrees but it's hot for here and for end of September going into October it's pretty hot here um so yeah this week was a really good week I have some really fun things to show you that I'm really excited about um that I've been using this week so let's go ahead and get started okay so the first thing I have to share with you is a deal that I got and it is such a steal I'm so excited to share this with you um it actually was a deal during the summertime and it sold out really really fast with the deal and the promo that was going on and then um nuevo cheap had i think maybe last week or the week before had posted on her instagram that it was back in stock and you could use the promo still so i was like on it like jumped on it and bought it and uh, the deal was from hsn and what you got with this deal is a full-size Too Faced shadow insurance. And then you also got the Too Faced chocolate bar palette. I've been wanting this forever and once I saw this little deal on there, I was like, I need it. Um, so originally this palette is $49. For a full size of the shadow insurance and the chocolate bar palette, I got it for $29 free shipping and no tax added on to it. So I was so excited. I could not believe this deal. Literally, it was a miracle. I don't even know. Um, I haven't used the shadow insurance yet, but I'm definitely going to try that out. I haven't tried it before, so I'm really excited to try that one out. But I haven't used it, so I don't know how I feel about it. But I have used the chocolate bar palette. I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today. I didn't think I needed this palette. Um, I had looked at it so many times. I would smelled it so many times. I had swatched it so many times. And I just felt like I didn't need it. I was like, eh, I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm not going to spend 50 bucks on a palette when I have all my naked palettes, I have a bunch of MAC shadows, I don't need it. I'm really, I've been really good about buying things that I don't need lately, and this is just one of them. I know it came out like so long ago, and I'm very late on the bandwagon on this one, but it's pretty awesome. I do have to say, I'm really, really happy I have it in my collection, especially for the fall now here. I love these shadows for the fall. I think they are gorgeous shades, um, a really awesome variety, and I just, I think that it's worth it. It really is worth it. Um, now that I'm thinking, I probably would spend the $50 on this just because it's really unique and it has so many different shades that I don't have in other palettes. Um, I really like this like burgundy shade right there. It is pretty and then I also love this one I think it's called salted caramel perfect blending shade I literally love this shade for blending these these two together I'm actually wearing them on my nose today these two together are like the perfect fall combo so I am so excited about this I'm so excited about that deal um, I will link all the details about the deal um, underneath in the in the description bar in case you want it um, I think it's still going on so if you have not hopped on it and you are wanting the chocolate bar palette and you don't have it 29 bucks. I okay, so that was probably the most exciting thing this week. Um, another exciting thing is I brought back, um, I had this in my stash and I'd been trying to use up mascaras and I finally, I was just like, I need this in my life. I need to pull this out again. And this is the Tarte Gifted Amazonian Clay Mascara. This is my favorite mascara besides the Dior. I think it's number two. This one is number two compared to the Dior one. Um, I love this mascara. I also love the Lights Camera Lashes, but I like this one more. Um, it has really awesome, just like natural bristled brush. And the formula of this just feels really 
nourishing to your lashes like it feels like it's doing something good it's not necessarily the most volumizing or the most you know lengthening mascara you will ever find but it is good and it makes your lashes just feel good and it's easy to take off it doesn't smudge I just love it it's a really really good one um, I definitely suggest this and if you haven't tried this one and you like the lights camera lashes try this one you might even like it more it's really really good a blush I pulled out this week is an oldie 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 but a goodie and I don't know what made me pull this out I kind of just pulled it from the back of my blush drawer and was like I need to start using this one and this is the wet n wild heather silk blush so pigmented I forgot how pigmented this was I put it on for the first time the other day that I haven't used this in forever and holy moly like look at that pigmentation holy moly um it's just a really pretty rosy color um really compliments I don't know it's kind of like an everyday blush you could totally use this every day but I think it has a little bit of a deeper rosiness that it just looks really nice for the fall time gives a little life to your um, cheeks it makes you look awake and you only need a little bit of this because the first time I put it on like I said it looked like a clown because I was like oh my gosh I forgot how pigmented this was so you only need a little bit this thing's gonna last you forever and it's just a really pretty color so um, Wet n Wild's Heather Silk is a really good blush and super cheap too it's like three bucks okay the next thing I have to share with you is a nail polish I haven't showed a nail polish in a really long time um, but this one I actually bought probably a month ago and I've worn it on and off since then and I've just never mentioned it in a video um, but this is Essie's take it outside and it's from their new fall collection um, literally I saw that the lady was putting out the display as I was going to the display so I've had this for a really long time um, I love it I think it's a beautiful gray color um, it is on my nails right now except for that one because I peeled it off it's been all in all week but it's just a really pretty gray color um, I just love gray nails any kind of gray nail polish I find I buy it I literally have like 20 gray nail polishes because I love gray nails I just I love the look of gray nails it's just like a nude without not being a nude it's a color I don't, I don't know gray is my favorite color in general gray is just the best color ever I don't know why I just love gray gray is my color um, but I really love this nail polish it's perfect it's a really pretty one goes on pretty opaque and yeah I love this color and I've been wearing it all week long okay the last thing I have to share with you is an Alba Botanica product um, I've never used any of their products before I see them at Target all the time and I've just never tried anything um, this is the Hawaiian hand and body lotion I was looking for a new body lotion and I just don't like any of the like drug story ones like Jergens or I just don't like them they make me feel sticky and gross and I never like the scent of them I don't know but I actually opened it up before I bought it and gave it a whiff oh, it smells just kind of like cocoa buttery vanilla -y. Um, it smells really 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 good um, and it's really really good it has no parabens or phthalates or it has no animal testing so I just thought it was a good product to have I've been lathering myself up I'm literally I'm like halfway out of this already because I use so much of it I literally take this and just lather myself after I get out of the shower um, so yeah I've been really liking this it's a good one it doesn't feel sticky it absorbs in your skin really nicely it's a thicker almost body butter um, but it sinks into your skin like a lotion one doesn't leave a sticky residue or any kind of residue on your skin I just really really like it and the scent is really really pleasant it's not like an overpowering scent it's just like a soft slight vanilla y cocoa butter scent it's really really nice I really like it so this one's a good one um, if you're looking for a more natural lotion this one's a really really nice one okay and of course I have to show you a food favorite because I've been starting to show food favorites in my Friday favorites which I think is kind of fun because I've never really shown food favorites really 
but it's just fun to share what you're eating. I don't know. Um, so this is the Simply Balanced, the organic tortilla chips and blue corn. You can get these at Target. I love these. This and salsa, well, I'm a chips and salsa addict. Like, chips and salsa has been my favorite food since forever. Like, it's just my favorite food ever. <laughs> like, literally when people ask me, what's your favorite food? chips and salsa like that is my favorite food um but these are so good they're really really crunchy they have a good salt to them and all it is is organic blue corn organic sunflower oil um sea salt and then lime and that's all it is so it's pretty good for you it's gluten free um no preservatives or anything i'm not gluten free but i really really like these with salsa they're just mm, so good so yeah, if you're at Target next time, check these out. I really like them. I think they're better than normal tortilla chips. They actually taste good, and they're really good with salsa. So I have been loving these this week. Okay, you guys, so that is it for my Friday favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you guys had a wonderful week as well. Um, on Monday, I will have my September favorites up. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you guys in my next video.